All right, I want us to move to the second part of our calculus, the study of gradient, the study of change, dy over dx, dy dx. The next part is called uh, rules of differentiation. We differentiate by parts. Fortunately for us, there's only one rule that we use at this level. Uh, if I have f of x is equal to ax to the power n, so what is this saying to me? Before I differentiate anything that I have here, that we'll be doing, it should be in the standard form first. In the form of ax to the power n, I must be able to see the coefficient of x, I must be able to see the exponent of x, and there should be no fractions. All right, uh, how do I find the derivative? My f of x prime, the gradient or the average gradient would be, the rule says you take the exponent, you multiply it with the coefficient of x. So I'm going to have n times a, remember you had x to the power n. So you've taken this n, you multiplied it here with the coefficient, then you subtract 1 on the uh, exponent. This is the rule that we'll be using. In all the problems that says use the rules to find the derivative, you only use one rule. All that you need to know is to arrange it in standard form first, in the form of ax to the power n. So you might find things in different ways. If you find something like this, square root of x, it is not in that form. But I can arrange it such that I can see uh, it, it this way. Remember, there is, if the if is square root, it means that there is 2 here. We don't write that 2. Remember, this is to the power 1. How do you get rid of the square root? This is the same as x to the power. You divide with this value here, 1 over 2. Now, you can see what is a. It is 1. You've got that x and you've got your exponent. So, I've changed this into that form. Even if I've got cube root, of x squared. How do I change this into that form? Remember the rule says you take this, you divide it with there. So this would be x to the power 2 over 3. Whatever value that we have, if there is nothing there, you must know that there is 2. Square root, there is 2 there. So that's how I will change this into that form. We'll be doing that a lot in this section. Now let's see how they set this in the examinations. We've got this problem. Now, is this in that form? No. Is this in that form? No. I've got to change this into this form first before I differentiate. Let's do this thing. So, I'm not differentiating yet. I'm arranging this. So, this will be y is equals to. Uh, let's, let's work this thing out. This, this is going to be a... Uh, x, there's 2 here, there's 1 here. This is going to be x to the power 1 over 2. This is divided by 2. That's what we have. Minus the other one. Minus, let's arrange this one. It is, I've got to take this one on top. It's going to be 1, this one, over 6. x, if you take it up, it will be minus 3. If you take it down, it will be plus 3. All right? Uh, let, let me deal with this one. Because it is still not in that form. So my y will then be equals to... I've got 1 there. Over this 2, I've got my exponent. The, the, my coefficient of x now. x to the power 1 over 2. Ah, it is now in the form of ax to the power n. ax to the power n. This one is in that form as well, ax to the power n, so it's minus 1 over 6, x to the power minus 3. Once it is in this form, I can find my dy dx. This is where I'm starting to differentiate. There I was not differentiating, I was just arranging it in the form ax to the power n. This is the most important rule when we differentiate using rules. Right, let's, let's, let's now differentiate. Now I said you take the exponent, you multiply it with the coefficient, then you subtract 1 in the exponent. This is where this comes from. Take this, you multiply it this side, then you subtract 1 there on the exponent. That's what we are doing. So in other words, we're going to take this, multiply it to this side, and subtract 1 there. Let's do this thing. So it's going to be half times half, it is 1 over 4x 
to the power what is half minus one it's gonna be minus half all right take this multiply this side it's gonna be plus three there's three there's six uh, this is one over two now so it's gonna be one over two x to the power minus four right that's what we have this is our derivative let's scan it now uh, in most cases we try and leave this in a positive exponent if the question does not say we can leave it in, the, in this form but i prefer that you leave it in a positive exponent so this then will be right how do you make this positive you've got to take it down what do we have on top we've got one what do we have down we've got four so if we take this down it will it will it will find four there so it's one over this four if you take this down it will be x to the power half right now it is positive plus i do the same thing i've got one on top there's two here if i take this down it will be x to the power four last step my dy dx will then be equals to i want to clean this one remember i start this x to the power half is the same as square root so i've got x to the power half it is the square root so it is then the answer will be one over four square root of x plus of course one over 2x to the power 4. So this is how I will go about uh, finding dy dx in that particular form. This is the key. Take n, you multiply this side, then you subtract 1. Arrange it, put it in the standard form first. It's not in the standard form, let's put it in the standard form first before we differentiate.